let's do a count off, guys. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Thank you. Thank you. This is an official sound check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
Heads. 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 <laughs> Getting a bit of a bore, isn't it? Yeah, I can feel the spare is about to be broken. Ah. Well, it was an even chance, if my calculations are correct. 85 in a row, uh, beating a record. We have been spinning coins together since... Uh, this is not the first time we've spun coins. Oh, no. Uh, we've been spinning coins for as long as I remember. How long is that? I forget. Mind you, 85 times, I've never known anything like it. Are you happy? What? Well, content at ease. Uh, I suppose so. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Uh, what do you want to do? I have no desires. None. <laughs> there, there was a messenger, that's right. We were sent for. That it? Yes. Uh, we were sent for. Yes. That's why we're here. Traveling. Yes. It, it was a matter of extreme urgency. <laughs> a royal summons, fearful lest we come too late. But too late for what? How do I know? We haven't got there yet. Then what are we doing here, I ask myself? Uh, you might well ask. Well, we better get on. Right. Uh, where? But forward. Ah. <laughs> Which way do we? Which way did we? We are entitled to some direction, I would have thought. I say. I say, yes. uh, I can hear music, yes. like a band! An audience! The move! Perfect! A lucky thing we came along! For us? Let us hope so. Tragedians! <laughs> At your command! Uh, 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 my name is Gildenstern, uh -huh. and this is Rosencrantz. <laughs> I'm sorry, his name's Gildenstern, and I'm Rosencrantz. A pleasure. Uh, we've played to bigger, of course. Uh, uh, what is your line? <laughs> Tragedy, sir! <laughs> Deaths and disclosure. Universal and particular. Jane de moi, both unexpected and inexorable. <laughs> Transvestite melodrama on all levels, including the suggestive. <laughs> we transport you into a world of intrigue and the illusion. Clouds, if you like. <laughs> Murderers, we could do you. Ghosts and battles, heroes, villains, tormented lovers, <laughs> and grand paid collector oh. at a price, but that comes under realism, for which there are special terms. Getting warm, am I? Well, I, I don't know. It costs uh. little to watch, a, a little more if you happen to get uh, caught up in the action. Oh. <laughs> If that's your taste, and times being what they are... What are they? Indifferent. Bad? Wicked. <laughs> now, what precisely is your pleasure? Uh, gentlemen, <laughs> disport yourselves. <laughs> What do they do? Let your imagination run riot. Get your skirt on, Alfred. Yeah! <laughs> uh, uh, what will you do for that? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what 
did you have in mind? Uh, you know any good plays? Oh. Plays? I thought you said you were actors. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, we are. <laughs> well, you know, one of the Greeks, perhaps? Ah, oh, blood, love, and rhetoric. <laughs> Is that what people want? It's what we do. <laughs> right? Entrances. Uh, uh, there and there. Uh, excuse me. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Come on! I say! Uh, that was lucky. What? It was tails. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Welcome, dear friends in Christ and Guildenstern. <laughs> Something have you heard of Hamlet's transformation? Yes. What it should be more than his father's death, I cannot dream of. I entreat you both that being of so young days brought up with him, that you draw him on to pleasures and glean whether aught to us unknown afflicts him thus. Good gentlemen, he hath much talked of you, and sure I am to men there is not living to whom he more. There are heels. If it will please you to show so much gentry and goodwill, your visitation shall receive such thanks as fits a king's remembrance. Uh, your Majesty, uh, sir. We both obey. Uh, thanks, Rose of France and gentle Guildenstern. Uh, thanks, Guildenstern and gentle Rose in France. And I beseech you instantly to visit my too much changed son. Go! Some of you had to bring these gentlemen where Hamlet is. My lord, I do think, for as this brain of mine has brought the trail of quality and more than I used to do, I have found the very cause of Hamlet's lonely <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> Don't let them confuse you. Uh, what have we got to go on? Well, uh, we have been briefed. Uh, Hamlet's transformation. What do you recollect? Well, uh, he's changed, hasn't he? Draw him onto pleasures. Uh, glean what afflicts him. Something more than his father's death. He's always talking about us. There are two people living whom he don't tell more than us. Find out what's the matter. Exactly. It's a matter of asking the right questions. It, it's a game. And then we can go. And receive such thanks as fit a king's remembrance. Uh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> How very intriguing. I feel like a spectator. An appalling business. The only thing that makes it bearable is the irrational belief that somebody interesting will come on in a minute. See anyone? Uh, no. Uh, you? No. Oh. What a fine persecution. To be kept intrigued without ever quite being enlightened. We've had no practice. Oh, uh, we could play at questions. What good would that do? Practice. Statement. One love. Cheating. How? I hadn't started yet. Statement. Two love. Are you counting that? What? Are you counting that? Val, no repetitions. Three love, first game. I'm not going to play if you're going to be like that. Who, sir? Huh? Val, no grunts. Oh. Love one. Who's go? Huh. Why? Why not? What's for? Foul! No synonyms, one all. What's going on? Foul! No electric, two one. F -f what's it all add up to? Can't you guess? Were you addressing me? Is there anyone else? Who? How do I know? Why do you ask? Are you serious? Was that rhetoric? No! Statement! No! Game point! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the matter with you today? When? What? Are, are you deaf? Am I dead? Yes or no? Is there a choice? Is there a gun? Foul! No nonsense, it is. Three, two, one, game all. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? What's yours? I asked you first! Statement! 
One love. What's your name when you're at home? What's yours? When I'm at home? Is it different to town? What home? Haven't you got one? Why do you ask? What are you driving What's at? What's your name? Reposition! Oh, to love not put to me! Who do you think you are? Rhetoric! Oh. Ah. Gay man not! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Where is it going to end? That's the question. It's all questions. Oh, Rosencrantz! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, who was that? Oh, didn't you see him? He didn't know me. He didn't see you. I didn't see him. We shall see. I hardly knew him. He's changed. You could see that. What transformed? He's changed. I could see that. A gleam what afflicts him. Me? Or him? How? Question and answer. Old ways are the best ways. He's afflicted. You question, I'll answer. He's not himself, you know. Well, I'm him, you see. Who am I, then? You're yourself. Are you afflicted? That's the idea. Uh, are you ready? Uh, let's go back a bit. <laughs> I'm afflicted. I see. Glean what afflicts me. Right. Question and answer. How should I begin? <laughs> Address me. Uh, my dear Guildenstern. You've forgotten, haven't you? <clears throat> my dear Rosencrantz. I don't think you quite understand. What we are attempting is a hypothesis in which I answer for him while you ask me questions. Ah. Ready? You know what to do? What? Are you stupid? Pardon? Are you deaf? Did he speak? Not now! Desmond! Oh, not now! Pretend to be him, and I ask you questions. Very good. <laughs> you had me confused. I could see I had. How should I begin? <clears throat> Address me. <laughs> My honoured lord. My dear Rosencrantz. Am I pretending to be you, then? Certainly not. <laughs> Shall we continue? Question and answer. Right. Right. My honoured lord. My dear fellow. How are you? Afflicted. Really? In what way? Transformed. I see. Not much new there. No. <laughs> the details. Delve. Put the background. Establish the situation. So, uh, so your uncle is the king of Denmark? Yes. And my father before his. His father before his? No, my father before his. Uh, but surely... You might well ask. Let me get it straight. Your father was king. You were his only son. Your father dies. You are of age. Your uncle becomes king? Yes. Unorthodox. And did me. Usurpation then. He slipped in. Which reminds me. Well, it's wood. I don't want to be personal. It's common knowledge. Your mother's marriage? He slipped in. <laughs> His body was still born. So was hers. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary. He's hasty. Suspicious. It makes you think. Don't think and I haven't thought of it. her husband's brother. They were close. She went to Too him close. for comfort. It looks bad. Dad's up. Incest to adultery. <laughs> to sum up, your father, whom you love, dies. You are his heir. You come back to find it hardly worth the corpse cold before his young brother popped onto his throne and into his shades, thereby offending both legal and natural practice. <laughs> now, why exactly are you behaving in this extraordinary manner? Oh, I can't imagine! But, but all that is well known. Common property. And yet, he sent for us, and we did come. Go and see if he's there. Ha. Uh, coming this way, I think. Should we go? Why? One must now. Oh, for you yourself, sir, should be as old as I am, if like a, a crab. <laughs> you can go backwards. <laughs> Indeed. 
That's out of the air. Uh, my lord, I will take my leave of you. You cannot take from me anything that I, I would more willingly part with all. Except my life. Except my life. Except my life. Uh, fare you well, my lord. Uh, you go to seek Lord Hamlet. There he is. <laughs> God save you, sir. My honoured lord. Uh, my most dear lord. My excellent good friend. Uh, How dost thou, Guildenstern? Uh, Rosenblatt. Uh, <laughs> Gentlemen, you are welcome in Elsinore, but my uncle father and aunt mother are deceived. In, in what, dear lord? Aye, but mad north, northwest. In the wind is southerly. In all hot cold. From a handsaw. Uh, the actors are come hither, my lord. Buzz, buzz! <laughs> hmm. Yes? What? I thought you... No. Ah. <laughs> I, I think we can say we made some headway. I think we can say he made us look ridiculous. Well, we, we played it close to the chest, of course. The question and answer. Old ways are the best ways. I was waiting for you to delve. When is he going to start delving? We, we caught his symptoms, didn't we? Half of what he said meant something else, and the other half didn't mean anything at all. I'm prepared to let the whole matter drop. Somebody might come in. That's what we're counting on, after all. Give them a shout. A no. Something provocative. Intrigue The wheels have been set. In motion, each move is dictated by the previous one. That is the meaning of order. If we start being arbitrary, it'll all just be a shambles. What? Uh, come, yes. Follow him, friend. We'll have a play tomorrow. Can you play? The murder of Pintado. Oh. Aye, my lord. Very well. Follow that lord. Look, you march and march. For your friend. Till tonight. You are welcome in Elsinore. I'm good, my lord. <laughs> so you've caught up. You left us. Huh? Where are you going? Well, I can come and go as I please. But, but, but we're still finding our feet. <laughs> I should concentrate on not losing your head. Well, the Ow. Oh. Well, the truth is, <laughs> we value your company for, for what of any other. We've been left so much to our own devices that. After a while, one welcomes the uncertainty of being left to other people's. <laughs> uncertainty is the normal state. <laughs> You're nobody special. But, but, but what are we supposed to do? Oh. Oh. Relax. Eh? Respond. Ow! That's oh. what people do. You can't go through life questioning your situation at the... Every turn. Oh, but, but we don't know what's going on or what to do with ourselves. <laughs> we don't know how to act. Oh. Act natural. <laughs> you know why you're here, at least. We, we only know what we are told, and that's little enough. And for all we know, it isn't even true. For all anyone knows, nothing is. <laughs> What do you assume? Uh, Hamlet is not himself, outside or oh. in. We have to glean what afflicts him. He, he's melancholy. Uh, melancholy? Yeah. Mad. How is he mad? Ah. How is he mad? Uh, more morose than mad, perhaps. Ah, <laughs> melancholy. Mood. He has moods. Of moroseness. Madness. And yet, quite, for instance, he talks to himself, what? which might be madness. If he didn't talk sense, which he does. Which suggests the opposite. Of what? I think I have it! A man talking sense to himself is no madder than a man talking nonsense not to himself. Or just as mad. Or just as mad. And he does both. So there you are. Stark raving sane! <laughs> Why? Ah. Why? Exactly. Exactly what? Exactly what? Exactly why what? What? Why? Why what exactly? Why is he mad? I don't know. The old man thinks he's in love with his daughter. 
Oh, we're out of our depth here. No, no, no. no. She hasn't got a daughter. The old man thinks he's in love with his daughter. The old man is? Hamlet. Right. In love with the old man's daughter, the old man thinks. Uh, It's beginning to make sense. (laughs) Nobody leaves this room! (laughs) Without a very good reason. (laughs) Why not? All this strolling about is getting too arbitrary by half. I'm rapidly losing my grip! From now on, reason will prevail. I have lines to learn. Pass. <laughs> Next! <laughs> what did you expect? Something? Someone? Nothing. Uh, one must think of the future. It could go on forever. Uh, Well, not forever, I suppose. Do you ever think of yourself as actually dead, lying in a box with a lid on it? No. Nor do I, really. (laughs) I wouldn't think about it if I were you. You'd only get depressed. Uh, Eternity is a Terrible thought. I mean, where is it going to end? (laughs) All right, Anna, we know you're in there. Come out talking. We we have no control, none at all. They're taking us for granted. Well, I won't stand for it. Uh, Keep out, then. I could be anyone to enter. That's better. (laughs) Did he receive you well? Most like a gentleman. But with much forcing of his disposition. Did you say him to any pastime? Uh, Madam, it's so fell out that certain players we are wrought on the way. Of these we told him, and there did seem in him a kind of a joy to hear of it. <laughs> they are here about the court, and as I think, they have already ordered this night to play before him. Uh, Tis most true, and he has beseeched me to entreat your majesties to come here and see the matter. Oh, with all my heart, and it doth content me to hear him so inclined. Good gentlemen, give him a further edge and drive his purpose into these delights. Uh, we shall, my lord. <laughs> Sweet Gertrude, leave us too, for we have closely sent for Hamlet hither, that he, as twere by accident, may hear affront Ophelia. I'm going. Uh, it's coming. <laughs> I, I can't for the life of me see how we're going to get into conversation. Uh, one might well uh, accost him. Yes, something along the lines of a, a direct, informal approach. Man to man, straight from the shoulder. Now look here, what's it all about? <laughs> sort of a thing. Nymph, my orisons be all my sins remembered. Good, my lord. How does your honour for this many a day? I humbly thank you. Well, well, well. It's like living in a public park. Very impressive. Yes, I thought you sure. Direct informal approach was going to stop this thing dead in its tracks. <laughs> if I might make a suggestion, shut up and sit down. I'm not going to stand for it. What? We haven't oh. got much time. What are you doing? A dress rehearsal. Now, if you two wouldn't mind just uh, moving back. Uh, there. Good. Is everyone ready? Good. Silence. Off we go. Act one. Move. 
now! What's the jump show for? It's more of a device, really. They makes the action that follows more or less confidence. Ambiguity. He begs her to repent and recant. The king, tormented by guilt, haunted by fear, decides to dispatch his nephew to England. He entrusts this undertaking into two smiling accomplices, friends, courtiers, to two spies, giving them a letter to present to the English court. And so they depart on board ship. And they arrive and disembark and present themselves before the English king. But, but where is the prince? But where indeed the plot has begun to twist the fate and cunning and put to their hand? A letter that seals their death! Are you familiar with this play? <laughs> no. A slaughterhouse. Eight corpses all told. It brings out the best in us. You! What do you know about death? That's what actors do best. Oh, actors, the, the mechanics are of cheap melodrama. This isn't death. You scream and, and choke and sink to your knees, but, but it doesn't bring home death to anyone. It doesn't catch them unawares and stop the whisper in their skulls that says, One day, you are going to die! Sure! Let's ride the false They're waiting to see what we're going to do. <laughs> Hell, good and sad. Hey, you're you're wanted. wanted. <laughs> Friends, both, go join you with some further aid. Hamlet in madness hath Polonius slain, and from his mother's closet hath he dragged him. Go, seek him out. Speak fair and bring the body into the chapel. I pray you hasten this. Come, Gertrude. Well, Qua, 
flight. <laughs> Seek him out, etc. All right, uh, and uh, you go that way. I'll go this way. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I think we should stick together. He Ooh. might be violent. Good point. Mm. But he's coming. <laughs> Perhaps he'll come back this way. Give him a shout. I thought we'd been into all that. Hamlet! Get me upset! Lord Hamlet! Ha! What have you done, my lord, with the dead body? Compounded it with dust. We're two to his kin. Ah, uh, my lord, you must lord. tell us where the body is and go with us to the king. I'll be with you straight. Go you a little before. <laughs> said we can go. Cross my heart. I like to know where I am. Even if I don't know where I am, I like to know that. If we go, there's no knowing. No knowing what? But if we'll ever come back. We don't want to come back. That may very well be true, but do we want to go? We'll be free. I don't know. We've come this far. And besides, anything could happen yet. <laughs> We're on a boat. <laughs> what now? What do you mean? Well, nothing's happening. We're on a boat. I'm aware of that. Then what do you expect? <sighs> What's going to become of us? Oh, don't cry. It's all right. But, but we've got uh, nothing to go on. We're out on our own. No, we're on our way to England. Well, we're taking Hamlet there. <laughs> what for? What for? Where have you been? When? Oh, we take him to the king. We've got a letter. You remember the letter. Do I? Oh, everything's explained in the letter. Ah. Ah, ah, I see. I see. Uh, it is an exact command from the king of Denmark, importing Denmark's help in England too, that on the reading of this letter without delay, I should have Hamlet's head cut off. <laughs> We're his friends. How do you know? I think we'd be well advised to leave well enough alone. It's awful. Uh, could have been worse. Huh? I was beginning to think it was. <laughs> Then, uh, everybody out! What are you doing here? Uh, Travelling! Uh, in this favour. A play offended the king. Oh, yes. He's a second husband himself. Tactless, really. We had to run for it. Surprised to see us. I knew it wasn't the end. With practically everyone on his feet. What do you make of it so far? What? Incidents! Oh, we get this incidents! Is it too much to expect? A little sustained action! Oh, oh, pirate! They've gone. Ah, uh, that was close. Uh, there's a. Once more, alone. What do you mean, where is he? Uh, gone. Gone where? Is he dead? Huh? Who knows? He's dead as far as we're concerned. <laughs> or we are as far as he is. But, but, but he can't. 
We're supposed to be. We've got a letter. We're on our way to England with a letter from the king. Yes, that much seems certain. I congratulate you on the unambiguity of your situation. But, but, but you don't understand that the whole thing's pointless without him. Pirates could happen to anyone. Just, uh, just, just deliver the letter. Uh, no, don't you see? Nothing will be resolved without him. We need Hamlet for our release. What are we supposed to do? Be happy. Uh, if you're not even happy, what's so good about surviving? We'll be all right. I, I suppose we just go on. Where? To England. Uh, we have a letter. Huh. A letter. Yes, that's ah. true. That's something. As England is Denmark's faithful tributary, as a love between them might flourish, etc., that on the knowing of this contents, without delay, should those bearers, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, Put to sudden death. Oh. Oh. It's all over! <laughs> well, we were wrong just getting on a boat. <laughs> uh, they had it in for us, didn't they? Oh, but, but why? Who are we that so much should converge on our little deaths? Who are we? You are Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. That's enough! No! It is not enough! To be told so little to, to such an end and still finally to be denied an explanation! <laughs> Death! For all the ages and occasions! <laughs> Climactic <laughs> carnage <laughs> by poison and by steel! <laughs> Double deaths by do show! <laughs> Is it? What was it all about? When did it begin? Couldn't we just stay put? I mean, no one's going to come on and drag us off. They'll just have to wait. Uh, we're still young. Fit, we've got years. <laughs> we've done nothing wrong. We, we didn't harm anyone. Did we? I can't remember. Oh. All right, then. Oh. I don't care. I've had enough. To tell you the truth, I'm relieved. There must have been a moment in the beginning where we could have said no. Somehow we missed it. <laughs> well, we'll know better next time.
Ladies and gentlemen, the company of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. 